Today on Review This Thing, we're going to pattern test this Winchester SXP 20 gauge with the Rectifier Diamond 560 choke. Hey, this is Robbie with Review This Thing. Hopefully you've already watched a couple of our other Winchester SXP pattern testing videos. This is the Longbeard SXP 20 gauge version. Today we're going to be using the Rectifier Diamond 560 choke. We've had really good luck with them in the past, and we're hoping it's going to pattern good with some of these loads out of this gun. We topped this shotgun with the Williams Gunsight LRS. It's brand new, just came out this year, and we've been having fun testing it already. All the loads that we're going to test are TSS loads in a number nine shot, and we're going to be shooting them at 40 yards. Our first load in this test is going to be Viper ammunition. You've seen us shoot this quite a bit. Let's see what the rectifier choke will do with it. I know it's just our first shot, but it looks like a pretty good combination. I don't think we could be sighted in any better for that load right there. A couple flyers left, nothing too high, nothing too right. A lot of pellets right there in that turkey's neck. So our first load did pretty doggone good. 224 pellets in a six inch circle and 372 in a 10 inch circle. Again, anytime we get above 300, we're really happy, but 372, we're loving it. Our next load is gonna be Pendleton ammunition. If you've watched any of the other tests, you've seen these loads have been very consistent throughout. That one looks pretty good from here too. I think those Birchwood Casey targets are doing better this time. That Pendleton load just continues to prove consistent. It looks like a really good pattern throughout. If that turkey moved front or back, we've still got a good kill shot on him. Once again, the Pendleton does good with 147 in a six inch circle and 260 in a 10 inch circle. I think we've talked about it before, but these Pendleton have a really even pattern all the way across. It may not have the highest pellet count in that 10 inch circle, but very even all the way across. Next up is the Foxtrot Ammo Crusher. Might be just a little bit high, but it looks okay. Oh wow, talk about a consistent pattern. Man, there's a few pellets left and right, but very, very few. Really impressed with the pattern out of that one. And the Foxtrot came in strong in a six inch circle, had 136 pellets, and in a 10 inch circle, 235. I killed my Miriam's turkey last year with Verdict, and they've been pretty consistent out of basically about every gun we've shot, so. The verdict and rectifier combination I'm looking forward to. Man, I think all these loads are great. It's really tough to tell from here. Man, that is a lot of dense pattern. I'll tell you one thing I'm seeing out of this choke is there's very few flyers and it's creating a very consistent pattern, basically out of all these loads. And Verdict, which usually performs really well for us, did again with a six inch circle, 185 pellets, and a 10 inch circle, 324. Apex has been around for quite some time. You guys have probably seen it. And now we're gonna see what it'll do with this rectifier choke. It looks really good from here. And that apex load looks really even across the board. A couple flyers left and right, just a little bit wider than the target, but it looks really good. And apex in a six inch circle had 157 and a 10 inch circle still over 300 with 307. The Fiocchi Golden Turkey has had a good showing out of this gun so far. Let's see what it does this time. Looks like that one might have shot just a little bit high compared to the other ones. This one may not have the most pellets. We'll see what it counts as, but the target sure does look good. There's a lot of pellets in his head and neck. Fiocchi Golden Turkey factory loads in a six inch circle had 126 and in a 10 inch circle, 247. And last on the list is Rogue Ammunition. These have performed really well out of this gun. 
so far with a couple of other chokes. Let's see what they'll do with this one. Oh yeah, that one packed a pretty good punch too. And man alive, that target looks like it has a lot of pellets in it from here. That target looks really good. It does have a lot of pellets in it. It might be just a little bit low. If I was gonna hunt with that one, I'd probably want it to be a little bit higher, but that looks really good. That target's pretty well covered in pellets. And Rogue comes in with 139 in a six inch circle and right at that magical 300 number in a 10 inch circle. So there you have the results. We had four loads out of seven over 300. The thing that stands out to me about that choke is how evenly dispersed all of the pellets are. Virtually every round that we shot, if I had missed just a little bit left or a little bit right, I still would have been able to kill that turkey. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like what we've done. Subscribe so you can see more. And thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Winchester SXP pattern tested video with the rectifier choke. Make sure you check us out on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Go Wild, and check out our holler store. Of course, go over to ReviewThisThingTV.com and subscribe for our weekly newsletter. Thanks for watching.